Hi viewers welcome to CSC my name is Givergis and I am part of Cisco support community in this video we will study how to configure basic SRST on a router in a centralized CUCM environment when IP phones lose connectivity to CUCM IP phones in remote branch offices or a teleworker lose call processing capabilities Cisco unified SRST router inherits its configuration from centralized Cisco Unified Communication Manager and retain the call processing of IP phones in the event of a WAN failure where IP phones cannot contact the CUCM. In this demo we are going to use the following network diagram. Here, for configuring SRST, we need to configure the SRST reference and point it to device pool in the CUCM. On the router, we need to mainly enable the router to SRST mode by typing the command call manager fallback and mentioning the IP source address in the global configuration mode. Now let's see the demo. Here we got an Cisco IP communicator registered with CUCM. Let's first navigate to the settings menu then device configuration and see to which CUCM the IP communicator is registered. Now log into the CUCM administration page, navigate to system SRST, click add new, give the name as SRST for SRST reference information, give the IP address of the SRST router as 10.78.176.86 Click save. Now go to the system menu, select device pool, click on find, here select the device pool as default since it's a device pool to which our IP communicator is registered. And on this page for SRST reference mention the name as SRST. Click save. Now if we go to the IP communicator and select settings device configuration we can see the SRST reference which we have mentioned on the CUCM. Now let's telnet to the router and enter the global configuration mode. The first command what we need to type is call manager fallback. This is to enable the SRST feature on the router. Then mention max e phones as 5. Mention max DN as 5. Then Give the IP source address as 10.78.176.86 which is the gateway interface for the remote IP phone. In our case Cisco IP communicator. There ends the basic configuration and now to verify this we need to go to the CM serviceability page select tools 
control center feature services it takes some time to get open now select the cisco call manager service and stop it at this we can see the ip communicator is switching to the srst mode now if we start the call manager service it has to switch back to the call manager phone got registered back with ucm i hope this information provided in this video was useful do post your comments and feedback on what videos you would like to see on cisco support community thank you